Your state is special, just like every other state. Learn more about what Florida has to offer before spending your hard-won cash playing slots. Florida has eight paramutual racetracks with slot machines in Broward and Miami-Dade counties, seven tribal casinos, senior center amusement arcades, multi-day cruise ships with onboard casinos, and day-long gambling boats. The minimum legal gambling age in Florida depends upon the gambling activity. For casinos, it's 21. For poker rooms, bingo, the lottery, and paramutual racing, it's 18. State gaming regulations have authorized slot machines at paramutual wagering racetracks in Broward and Miami-Dade counties. These counties contain the cities of Miami and Fort Lauderdale in southern Florida. Coin-operated amusement machines at senior center arcades are not slot machines and fall into the same category as pinball machines, shooting galleries, music machines, and video games. In Florida, it is legal to own a slot machine privately if it is at least 20 years old. The Gaming Control Commission is the Division of Paramutual Wagering within Florida's Department of Business and Professional Regulation, DBPR. Overall, the DPPR authorizes, regulates, or provides oversight for Florida's gaming industries of paramutual wagering at racetracks, card room games, and Florida tribal gaming. There are over three dozen paramutual wagering facilities in Florida for which the DBPR is responsible, including the eight sites with slot machines. The DBPR does not regulate bingo, the Florida lottery, coin-operated amusement machines, or day-long casino boats. Historically, Florida has had a long history of gambling, starting 100 years before gaming became legal. For example, at his first hotel, the Pont de Leon in St. Augustine in 1888, Henry Flagner created the exclusive and famous Bacchus Club Casino. Tribal gaming originally arrived in Florida with the Federal Indian Gaming Regulatory Act, IGRA, of 1988. With it, Florida's two federally recognized American Indian tribes opened casino offering Class II bingo-style gaming. Eventually, the Seminole Tribe of Florida has negotiated a tribal state compact, allowing them to offer Class III Vegas-style gaming at their seven casinos. However, the Miccosukee Tribe of Indians of Florida has not completed their gaming compact negotiations, limiting them to Class II bingo-style gaming machines at their single casino. Florida has eight paramutual racetracks with slot machines, seven tribal casinos, and two daily casino cruise ships. In this map, I show the location of each land-based casino. The largest is Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Tampa, and the second largest is Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Hollywood. Florida's paramutual wagering sites with slot machines in Broward and Miami-Dade counties have a minimum theoretical payout of 85%. Return statistics by month and commercial casino are publicly available by dividing credits out by credits in and multiplying by 100%. For the latest return statistics, see my video on Florida slots return to player. Florida's tribal casinos do not require theoretical payout limits on their slot machines, nor are they required to make return statistics publicly available. But you can track your personal Personal return to player with slots gambling records. To learn how, I highly recommend this video on keeping slots gambling records for the IRS, but also straightforward gameplay analysis. You'll be amazed how easy and helpful they are.